Three moments for students and parents after a threat against several Goose Creek ISD campuses was found online. Many parents rushed to pull their kids out of class. And district officials didn't wait to take action. Channel 2's Gianna Caserta to talked to several concerned parents. So, Gianna, what are they telling you now? Well, school officials tell me the threat was not credible, but, but there was additional security at all Goose Creek schools. And I am told that none of them were ever on lockdown. Concerned parents formed a line outside the front doors of Goose Creek Memorial High School. They were all here to pick up their children after getting word of the threat. Mere threat of it, it, it I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't. Scared. So, and she's scared too. She's still inside, scared. Texting uh, her dad. Parents were alerted by phone this morning about the anonymous threat posted to social media. Well, I just saw over social media that there was any uh, threat to our school, and well, I told my mom about it because they said it was okay, but like I still didn't. I felt. It wasn't right. The Instagram post reads, Congratulations, your life has been spared. Spread the word out. Goose Creek Memorial, Ross S. Sterling, Robert E. Lee, Highlands Junior High, Baytown Junior High, Cedar Bayou Junior High, and Gentry Junior High will be destroyed at approximately 1.30 p.m. May God be with you. The school district said those campuses were thoroughly checked and cleared by law enforcement. And around 12:30, all seven schools were evacuated and checked a second time. Horace Mann Junior School also took part in the evacuation. Goose Creek CISD released a statement reading in part: "We are working closely with law enforcement to identify the source of the post and will provide our full support to ensure the person responsible for the post is punished to the full extent of the law." And I'm told Goose Creek CISD, the Baytown Police Department, and the FBI are all investigating this threat. Reporting live in Baytown, I'm Gianna Caserta, KPRC Channel 2 News.